Okay, your favorite part. Yes, you will hate this, but I'm praying that you will hear me clearly. You always have that rewind, fast forward little uh, button there so you can kind of go back and forth trying to understand what I'm saying. We are going to do a lot with calculations, of course, now, but first we have to understand our basics, okay? Our basics are our normal labs. So if you pay attention to the board, I will show you some of the labs you cannot forget, like you just cannot forget it. Also, there's a page in your packet called Rome, and we're going to talk about that. So let's go on up here and see what we've got here. I generally have a very easy way of teaching the labs, okay, but you've got to pay attention. So the pH, you came in here from kindergarten knowing that it was 7.35 to 7.45. Of course, the more we are over here, we are acidotic. The more we are over there, we are alkalotic, right? So you know that. This is not hard. Now, we have to finally get you to understand the rest of the labs. If you look at CO2, and these must stay exactly like I wrote them. pH is always first, CO2 is always second. It is the same exact thing without the seven. So if you consider that pH is 7.35 to 7.45, then CO2 is 35 to 45. Drop the 7 in the decimal point, you've got the same exact numbers. This is not hard. Okay? Bicar is a little different, and I have a trick for that. Bicarb is 25. But you have to remember right here, I put a minus sign and a plus sign. Minus what? Three plus what? Three. So 25 plus three is 28. 25 minus three is 22. The range for bicarb is 22 to 28, but it sounds a lot more fun to say bicarb is 25, CO2 35 to 45, pH 7.35, 7.45. 25, 35, 45, 7.35, 7.45. 25, 35, 45, 7.35, 7.45. You've got this. You just, you got to rhyme it, okay? Now, so we have our three labs that matter. Literally nothing else matters when you're trying to figure out, is my patient in respiratory acidosis, partially compensated, or fully compensated, blah, 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 blah. Now, so stay with me. Remember the rule. Always do pH first. And Stay in order. So let's go to another few rules that we have to go over before we can do these calculations. And by the way, the answers to every calculation are already in your packet. Let's go over some more rules, okay? Rule number one, whenever the pH is normal, you have fully compensated the patient. So fully compensated means the pH is normal. It doesn't get any better than that. Of course, if the pH is normal, you have a wide range of what normal is. If it's normal over here, it's automatically acidosis. If it's normal closest to this number, it's automatically alkalosis. So the pH being normal, which is rare, is fully compensated. The next thing I'm gonna tell you is the hardest part because it's a two-part rule. And all you ever really hear is the first part. I need you to know it's a two-part rule. In order to have partial compensation, for a patient to be partially compensated, then you have to, oh, this is a goofy one, partially compensated, okay? You have to make sure that all three labs are at normal. You can't even think about partial compensation unless all three labs are normal. What three labs, Shelly? pH, CO2, bicarb. All three must be completely abnormal for you to even think about it. Now, it doesn't mean you definitely have it. That's the part you always forget. If all three labs are abnormal, you have another step. You have to analyze whether or not the CO2 and the bicarb are moving in the same direction. Are they both high or are they both low? If one or the other exists, doesn't matter which one of these is true, then you have partially compensated patient. 
Okay, now, so we're going to do the first problem, and we're going to be extremely methodical. We're going to remember Rome. Rome is in your packet. I kind of uh, edited Rome to make it easier. That's my job. That's why I have the PhD, to make the shit easier. Okay, so here we go. Respiratory opposite. Metabolic everything else. I know you learned equal in school. I teach you differently. So respiratory opposite means that pH and CO2 are going in opposite directions. Metabolic everything else means they're both going in the same direction or one of them is normal. So we're going to get started. Oh, one more thing. When we're talking about respiratory, we're talking lungs. Duh, you knew that. When we're talking about metabolic, now you know it's all about kidneys. Okay, so let's have a little fun with this. So you can see right here, we have our pH, our CO2, our bicarb. I'm going to give you a little bit of time to turn in your packets to this page. Certainly this page is the very, very first calculation page. Okay, so if you just go to a page with the lines on the packet, I wrote down these labs. I wrote down these calculations right from your packet. I did problem number one and problem number two. The lines are critical that you write exactly what I write or else you're going to get lost. I know some of you learned some crazy tic-tac-toe. I don't do that shit. This is so quick and easy that when you're taking a test and you need to be chop chop, let's go, let's get these, you know, answers quickly. This is so quick, okay? Now, you will completely mess this up if you don't do it exactly the way we do it because we get you to write it down the whole time. Everything I'm saying, you've got to write it down. You've got to, like, you know, do it exactly like we do it. So let's, let's be methodical about this. Keep everything in order. Your very first step in this calculation, every single time you do one of these calculations, is to look at the pH and say to yourself, is this low or is it high? Well, it's 7.31. 7.35 is normal. We can call this low. You literally have to write low. Stay with your girl. It's elementary, maybe even preschool. Don't matter. Stay with me. Once you wrote the low in the little blank here, you say, okay, now I've got to name it and claim it. Naming it makes it acid because it's over here less than 7.35 so now you write acidosis right in the little block okay now the next step is to evaluate the carbon dioxide remember don't worry about this pa when you know you see a little bitty a like that with a lab it means that blood was drawn so paco2 all you care about is co2 it is actually 30 Five. Oh, so we go up to our labs and see where that fits in. And actually, 35 is within normal limits. Now let me say something to you because you're going to get goofy here. Go back to first grade. Okay, fine. Maybe second grade for some of you. What is the opposite of low? High. Is that what you wrote here? No. So we do not have a respiratory opposite scenario. If you had written this word as high, then these two words would be opposites. You would have an opposite scenario. You could call this respiratory. You don't. Since you don't, everything else is metabolic. So when we look here and we say, okay, the CO2 is 35, that's normal, it's not high, which is the opposite of low. Now if we name it and claim it, since they're not opposites, they're everything else or metabolic, we can name it and claim it as metabolic. Now, we may actually be completely finished with this problem, which is why this is a lot easier than all the other crap that you see done. Um, on some of these calculation workbooks. We might be done. Boy, wouldn't that be nice. But we have another question to ask. The question to ask is, 
were those two labs that I just looked at abnormal? Were both of them abnormal? The answer is no. If it was abnormal, I'd have to go to this step. I don't need it at all. I don't really give a crap what bicarb is because one of my labs was normal. Remember the rule. All three had to be abnormal for you to have partially compensated anything. So we know that the pH was not normal. It was low. So we don't have full compensation. We know that the CO2 was normal. So we don't have three abnormal labs. So we do not have partial compensation. In fact, what we have is uncompensated metabolic acidosis. Now, just in case I've been smoking or drinking, I'm going to show you exactly where that is on this handout. If you look at the handout where your calculations are, and you can see the calculation is 7.313520, and it says this is respiratory metabolic, blah, 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 blah. Here's the answer uncompensated metabolic acidosis. Boom. Read it from the bottom up. Uncompensated metabolic acidosis. Okay? Now, let's do the next one. And again, you have to follow this step-by-step -step process. So, stay with your girl. What was the first step? Well, hell, the first step was to look at the pH and ask yourself, is it low or is it high? Well, it's 7.29, so it's over here. So it is low. The second step is to name it and claim it. If we name it and we claim it, then we're dealing with a patient that has acidosis because we're over here on this side, and there we go acidosis. Okay? So we have a pH that's low. We have acidosis. We've finished with that. Now we need to move on to the CO2. The CO2 is 24. Then we have to ask, is it high or low? And the CO2 being 24 is actually low. Now we have to say, well, what about these two answers? Once you write this one, you've got to look up and see what it relates to in this one. So if you look at those two words, they're both the same. Are they opposites? No, they are both the same. You didn't write low here and turn around and write high here. And if you did, that would have been an opposite. You did not do that. You wrote the same exact thing. So since you did not have respiratory opposite, because these words are not opposites, they're the same, then it's everything else, which is metabolic. So we're going to name it and claim it as a metabolic issue. And now we have another step. The step is looking over here and deciding, do we have three abnormals? Uh, yeah, we might. Let's check it out. What about, since these two are abnormal, you know you've got to go to bicarb and figure out if you have three. What is the number for bicarb? It's 20. What did we say bicarb was? 25 plus or minus 3. This is indeed abnormal. So abnormal how? Well, it's too low. So we have to once again put the low here. Now, we have a rule. And we better go back to that rule. All three labs, the pH, the CO2, the bicarb, were abnormal. They were all low. They didn't, they didn't need to be all low for us to have a problem with partial compensation. But in this case, they are all low. Since they are all abnormal, our next analysis is did the CO2 and the bicarb go in the same direction? They did. They both went low. Then if that's true, we have partial compensation. So you're going to see me write 
name it and claim it, partial, and here we write partially compensated, okay? Then we read it from the bottom up, partially compensated metabolic acidosis, partially compensated metabolic acidosis. Now we have to see if I'm right or if I'm just up here with Slim Dixie, if you know, you look at your handout, it has all the answers in it, which makes us pretty cool. So if you look at your handout, it has all the answers in it. It literally says uncompensated, oh, wrong one, un partially compensated metabolic acidosis. So I just did problem number one, problem number two, both came up with the same answers. I'm going to add one more, and the reason why I'm going to add one more is because it's not in your calculation pages, so it is a third one that I need to put in here, and that one is going to be quite different. I want you to write it down, and let's see here. We're going to write it down as an extra problem. It is not something you have, but you have to write it down so that you know what I'm saying. So we're going to say that the pH is 7.34. Whoops, nope, I lied. 7.36. So hopefully you wrote that down. And we're going to say that the CO2 is 48. And we're going to say that the bicarb is 19. Okay, so hopefully you wrote that down. You have that in the spaces here. You know how we do it. You're going to end up with two answers for each of these. And we're going to go ahead and fill that out. Okay? Now, What do you notice about the pH? Because, I mean, if you look at it, it's a little different from the two problems we just did. If you look at this pH, the 7.36 is actually what? Normal. So we have to write within normal limits because it's normal. Okay, so we're going to put within normal limits. And then we're looking at what is that? Well, 7.36, is it closer to 7.35 or is it closer to 7.45? Correct, 7.35. So we have to call it acidosis because it's closer to the acidotic side. Okay. The next step is to analyze our CO2, and it's 48. You understand that a normal CO2 is 35 to 45. In this case, you can clearly see this is high. Now, once you wrote high in here, you've got to automatically go back up here and see what these two mean to each other. Are they opposites? Hell no, because this doesn't say low, so that's not an opposite. It's everything else, or in this case, metabolic. Oh, no, I lied. In this case, it's respiratory. Because it, no, I, I didn't lie, I told the truth. <laughs> so it's everything else, or metabolic, like we said, from jump, okay? So high, within normal limit, not opposite words. It would have to be high and low here for it to be respiratory. It's not. It's high and normal. It's metabolic, because everything else is metabolic. The last portion of this, do we need it or not? Hopefully you said no. And hopefully you said no because once you had one of these labs as normal, you could never ever have all three abnormal. So you didn't care about partial compensation and you definitely didn't care about bicarb. So you could stop there and be absolutely fine. So how do we do that then? What do we call it? Well, since we did not need the bicarb, we didn't need it, we can call it uncompensated metabolic acidosis. 
Okay, so that's an extra problem that I did for you, just to show you what it would look like. Um, oops, nope, I messed that up. Is that true? Not if you go by my rules. Glad I repeated it. It's not true. What does this say? It says fully compensated means normal pH. So this word here, because the pH is totally normal, should say fully compensated. So you will make a mistake if you don't look over every little part of your problem. Before you write it down, follow the rules. Normal pH is fully. All abnormals might be partial. So this one is fully compensated metabolic acidosis. Okay, that concludes our acid-base lecture. Okay.